Hello everyone, welcome to Larafant. My name is William. In this video series, we are going to learn the basics of Laravel framework. And Laravel is a free open source web framework developed by Taylor Otwell that is used to develop web applications based on the MVC architectural pattern. And MVC in this case means model view controller. The initial release of Laravel was 2011. The current version is Laravel 11. Why should we use Laravel? The first reason why, I, in my opinion, Laravel can be used is because Laravel is simple. So if you are new and you have never come across, you have never worked with Laravel, you maybe have worked with vanilla PHP or you have worked with other languages apart from PHP and Laravel, I would like to tell you that Laravel is actually simple, based on PHP language. It has a low entry barrier and the syntax is easy to pick. The next reason is that Laravel is feature rich. Many features are there, which include packages that you can be able to use. And these packages are developed by the Laravel core team, also the Laravel community. All these enable you to be quick, up and running with your Laravel application. For example, authentication systems in Laravel. You do not need to break a sweat. You just pull in a Laravel application, a new Laravel application, and pull in the authentication application. And after that, you can be able to authenticate your users in no minutes. Laravel gives freedom of developers working with other frameworks. For example, the front front end frameworks like Vue.js, React.js, and so on and so forth. You can be able to plug Laravel as your backend and then leverage those other technologies for your front end. And this makes the options that are available to you as a developer very many. Laravel has built-in security to protect web applications from modern vulnerabilities. And these vulnerabilities include cross-site scripting, SQL injection, cross-site forgery, and also session manipulation. Laravel also has a dedicated team that works on improving the code, fixing the bugs every single day. And that means every time you are installing a Laravel application, all the vulnerabilities that have been discovered have been taken care of. And that's a good place to start. I now want us to go ahead and see how we can be able to install a Laravel application in our machine. But before we install a Laravel application, there are pieces of software that we need to install first. And I want to go through each one of them. The first one that we need to install is Node.js. So we can search Node.js on the browser. It will take us to the website, Node.js. We will click there. And then I want us to download this version 20.11, the limited standard version. And because we are installing in Windows, I would like to click on other downloads. Such that we can be able to download our 64-bit 64, 64 for my machine software for Node.js. As it downloads, we need also to download a server on our local machine. And we can be able to use the different servers that are there for development. For example, the WAMP server, the ZAMP server, and uh, then we can be able also to use Laragon and so on and so forth. For those who are working on, on a Mac, you can use Laravel HUD. And you can be able to take time and look at how you can be able to use the specific a piece of software that you will be using to manage your server. So in this case, I want us to install ZAMP. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to the ZAMP website, just click ZAMP on a Google search. Then it will take you to this first result where you will click and open, and then we can be able to choose the latest version, which is PHP 8.2.1.2. And this one, you can be able to come here and click download. I've already downloaded, so maybe I'll just click it and then maybe uh, stop it. 
from uh, downloading because I already have it. We also need Composer. And Composer is a package dependency manager for PHP. And Composer will be the one that will assist us to be able to install Laravel. It will also assist us to install other dependencies and packages that have been built using PHP. So basically, for you to be able to work with Laravel, you need Composer. And we can go ahead and click and uh, go to the download page. And when we click download, because we are we are working on Windows, I would like us to click and download the Composer setup, this first one here. And of course, I will click it. And the last thing that I would like us to download is Git. And this will help us with um, a version control. And also it has a CLI which we can be able to use for our commands. So basically, I want to click here to download Git for Windows. And then, of course, I will pick for the setup that I have in my machine. So my machine is Windows 64. So again, I will click to download Git. So after you have downloaded those three, then we can be able to proceed and install the various things that we need. So the first thing that I want us to do to install is Node, and it's already here. So I will click on installation, and we will just click Next, accept the license terms, and continue all the way. Next, Next, and install. That will install for us Node.js. Node.js is installed. The next thing I want us to install is uh, ZAMP. And even for this one, you just click Next. ZAMP is fully installed. Do you want to start the control panel now? Maybe I can say no for now. And then I want us to also install Composer. So I will just pick, seems I downloaded two two of them. We can just say install for all users. Next. Uh, we, we will not pick the developer mode. And then this one, it has selected for us our the path to our PHP file. So we just say next. We need to just add the path and say next. After that, we will just click next all the way. We are done installing Composer. Now let us finally install Git. We just click next. Just use the recommended settings. We have almost everything that we require for us to be able to spin up our Laravel application. But one more thing I want is for us to install Visual Studio as our code editor. But of course, you can be able to use um, Sublime Text, PHP Storm, among other editors that are in existence. Visual Studio Code. We will download it and we want uh, the Windows version. In this case, you can be able to choose whichever version you need. We will also run the Visual Studio Code setup to install it in our machine. So you accept the agreement and just go on next all the way. We will click finish. Now we are in a position to install our Laravel application. And what I want us to do is just to go to this PC, local disk C, and then the folder called ZAMP. Then this htdocs folder is the one that we will host our application. So I just want to right click here and then open git bash terminal. So this is what I want us to use to just install our Laravel application. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just increase the text, make it a little bit larger. So I'm going to choose 16 and just apply. And now for us to create a Laravel application, we will run the command composer, create project Laravel forward slash Laravel, and then the name of our application. So we can say fast up and hit enter. In this command, you install Laravel in our machine.
our Laravel application is fully installed. And what I want us to do is to go ahead and run it. I need to hop into our Laravel application. And what we are going to do, we are going to just change the directory. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say CD. And the name that we did call our application is fast up. In Laravel, for us to be able to run commands, we start with PHP artisan. And this command will be able to assist us to be able to run very many commands in our Laravel application. And so I would just like to check some of the commands that exist. We can be able to check them by just running PHP artisan list. And so you can see we have very many commands that we can be able to use. You can take time and look at some of them. Even if you will not understand anything, you will meet them when we will be continuing with this uh, tutorial. So I would like to clear and run the command PHP artisan serve. And this command will you run our Laravel application on port 8000. If we want it to run the Laravel application in a different port, we can be able to just put a flag and have port and then put any other number here. So maybe 80, 80, like that. But basically, we can just be able to run it on port 8000. So we just hit enter. And now you can see our server is already running. If I go to our browser here and just type in here, localhost 8000, now, you can see that we have our application up and running. And that is basically how to easily spin up a Laravel application and make it up and running. In our next video tutorial, we will be talking about the folder structure. So you can go ahead and subscribe and comment and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Until the next video. Thank you.